it will last until we don't erase the data. As long as disk isn't damaged, data will be there. Access to data is considerably low or slower, means uh, due to movement of uh, the data from hard disk to RAM and then to cache to processor, here comes data delay. But considerably, the data is uh, huge in size which can be stored on the secondary disk and data is uh, long lasting when stored in the secondary memory. Here is the concept of C++ streams. What are the streams? A stream is general name given to flow of data. Means data when inputted or outputted. It is in the C++, it is captured or handled with streams. Different streams are used to represent different kinds of data flow. Each stream is associated with particular class. As we have discussed in our earlier classes that we use different types of uh, class objects and with the help of objects, we use the different member function of the classes to capture the files, uh, to create the files, to open the file, and to read and write the data on the files. Means. These streams uh, are from different classes which contain member functions and definitions to deal with the particular kind of data flow. And data flow is handled with the help of file handling concept. In C++, um, which is used for permanent data storage. As in our previous chapters, whatever we have learned, whatever concept we have, uh, Whatever we uh, the concept we have learned was uh, volatile in nature. Means when we inputted the data, data is processed and calculation, and we uh, we obtained the information or processed form of data. But all was in RAM, and we don't store the data for future reference. But with the help of file handling, we can store that processed form of data or inputted data in a secondary file or the hard disk with the help of file handling. And why we do file handling? Because the memory is volatile in nature. Any data uh, that you type with the keyboard while in program is volatile in nature. But for permanent storage, we transfer the inputted data or outputted data from one computer to another easily by using the files. So that's why we use the files to input the data and to store the data. Here comes some header files that we need for file handling is uh, we used in C in and C out methods or functions, member functions of IO stream, header file, or standard library file. During our previous units uh, programming, in which we, uh, with the help of C in, we have inputted the streams of input uh, from the keyboard. And with the uh, C out, we have just displayed the um, stream of characters over the screen. So in this uh, current uh, file, we are going to learn how to read and write from a file. This requires another standard library, that is fstream, which defines three new data types. Means three new types of classes that we can use in our file handling are ofstream, ifstream, and fstream. Ofstream, this uh, is used to create a file and write data. Means in this class, with this class, we create the object, a file object in which we open the file or create the file to write the data on the file. And with ifstream, we create the file to read the file. Means we create, with the help of ifstream, we created the files to read the data. Our already created files are open to read the data. And with fstream, we create the file or objects uh, for both purposes to read and write the data. Here for input file stream, we have to include the which header file, ifstream.h file in our C++ program to create the input file stream object. And for output, we have to create, we have to include the ofstream header file. And for both purposes, we have to create, we have to include fstream class. Here is, uh, um, the main concept of file handling that during the program, in the program, we actually create the input stream 
for input stream means we are taking the file, we are taking the data in the computer program in the C++ program we are taking input from keyboard file network a program when we are taking input in the C++ program we are using CN object CN uh, object of the iostream.h header file here whereas when we are we, when we will use the data when we when we will take input the data from the file we will create we will use the file object are you getting the point and when we are going to give the output to the console or to the file means we are writing the data uh, to the console means your screens and when we are writing the data to the file in case of console we use see out object and in case of file uh, we use the file objects here the internal objects internal data format formats may be for text input character types and w character types integer float and double these are the basic data types in which the data is internally represented and for external data formats there are different types of encodings are there which are used to write the data which in which coding the data is present inside the system and also the second form is binary so how to achieve the file handling with the help of these steps actually we handle the file first we have to create a handler object means file object then we name a file means here we can create the file and then create after creating we open the file and then we will read and write on the file and afterwards we will close the file these are the step wise activities for achieving the file handling here is the general uh, workflow for reading a file in our c++ program there must be a handler of f stream with the uh, include preprocessor we have to include this handler f stream in our program to create the if stream object or of stream object both objects can be created if we have included the f stream header file in our program so with if stream we will create the input file and with input file means this is the object of if stream class so uh, with this object we can uh, access the open function of if class and with open function we will uh, connect the file that we want to open with this open function and it is that is a recorder.txt file when uh, and whereas the file is present just say uh, at the c drive with the main folder of my project and then inside that folder there is the file that we want to open and after opening we will uh, do some writing or reading and then we will uh, close the file these are the basic steps that we need to uh, perform in our programming in a c++ program to access the file for reading purpose here comes the functions that can be used in file handling means when we create the any file object then with the file object we can call open function to open a file close function to close the existing file and then we can use the read uh, get and put function to uh, to read the single character or write the single character and read and write uh, functions are used to read the right uh, data sent uh, data sentences uh, to read or write in the file so these are the common functions that we can use uh, with the file objects for file handling here these are certain uh, def uh, defining and opening a file i think we have all most covered all these uh, points in our previous classes so that's why i'm skipping over here but here comes the process of opening and closing the file when the file is open process of opening we uh, use the object uh, file object input dot input file dot open and we have given the name of the file that we want to open so with this file will be connected with the input handler when we are going to close then actually we are disconnecting 
the handler from the file. Clear? And these are the opening modes that we have covered. File opening modes are all covered in our previous lecture. So that's why we are going with the next. See, uh, we can read the data from file and write data to the file three ways. How many ways are there to read and write the data from the file? These are actually uh, reading or writing characters using get and put uh, member functions. These two functions we have covered in our last uh, class of third January. And uh, you have to revise them from there. And then we have also discussed that uh, we can use the insertion and extraction operator uh, for reading and writing purpose in a formatted way in our disk file. And then comes uh, uh, reading and writing object uh, um, using the read and write operations. Read and write member functions are also used to write and read at the secondary file. So it means to sum up, there are three methods to write the data or read the data from the secondary file. These are by character by character, we use get and put for member functions of the file object. And for uh, formatted input and output, we use the insertion and extraction operators. And for sentence writing and reading, we use the read and write operations to uh, member functions to read and write at the secondary file. Here, these are the syntaxes that we have almost covered in our previous lectures. The error checking that whether the file exists or not, we use uh, for this purpose, uh, uh, this is in a structure of my file. Uh, sorry, if structure here, you can see that my file is the object of if stream. And if stream is calling the open function to open the file for in, with input mode and file is uh, first checked here whether the file is open or not. So if this file uh, will return my file. If it opens, then at the logical operator will uh, convert will return false value means the if condition is false then when condition is false then this c out will not be executed and the rest of the code will execute means file is open for uh, input method clear yeah, okay and uh, if the file returns over here that file does not open means my file here this opening function um, returns the false value then the condition will become true because not operator will convert the false into true and the message will display that file cannot be open. These are the methods for uh, error handling in file functions. And here are some examples that we have also discussed in our classes and previous day lecture. These are different examples and you must have to go from all these examples to cover up all your concepts that we have discussed and reviewed today also. In this way, we have uh, completed a unit four, I'm sorry, unit nine. And inshallah, at Thursday, in next class, you will give the test. Clear? And test will be from your unit nine. But during this discussion, this revision of unit nine and completion of nine, if you Point it any question you have noted any question you can ask and we will there uh, yeah I'm here to answer you and uh, during that uh, obviously you have noted your points must submit your vector points 
and prepare yourself for the test in next class. Okay. Thank you.